mean, that's yeah. basically every podcast, future this podcast, where like, how's wrestling? It's shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I, uh, I made Lance's day. I tagged him in a uh, Matt Hardy video. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Here. <laughs> yeah, really. Dude, Broken Hardy is the fucking best. No, it's shit. It's so good. That is the most garbage fucking gimmick I've seen in uh, all my days of watching wrestling. Yeah, wow, Lance, tell us how you, how you really feel. That, that whole thing. Okay, yeah, so I'm one of the Hardys. <laughs> Here's a little snow. The one there. you don't expect. The one you don't expect, yeah, the one that nobody cared about. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> tell us how you really feel. Has this gimmick now where he's, well, at first he was broken Hardy, but that's, you know, TNA shit or something, so. He's going to be broken again soon. He's going to be broken now. He already is broken. So now, for WWE, he's... Oh, that's how far removed Lance is. Woken still a new thing. Party. <laughs> still and he's just got this stupid thing where he's, like, possessed <laughs> by some... He's possessed by yeah, a what the being fuck that's is it? immortal. And, like, some... he has memories of, like, uh, titties, Alexandria titties. and... What? Hmm? Like the past or some sport? shit, yeah. And <laughs> so Matt Hardy is his new vessel. Yes, and exactly. he does all this stupid due to my condition and just sounds like a fucking idiot. And does all these crazy, creepy, supposed to be creepy laughs that kind of just make him sound like handicapped. So you've gone So yeah, I mean yeah. It's, I like love it's it. just it's stupid. It's garbage. And it's, it's shit. It's bizarre. It's, it's supposed to be bizarre. Shit. All right. It's not bizarre. It's are, shit. We now are, you can cut all that garbage into the next. We part. already have gold dust and stardust for bizarre. Stardust. This is worse. <laughs> like those, you could actually appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Lance. Tell us how you really feel. I am. It's just. It's so annoying. It's dumb. I can't believe that like the WWE or any of its like producing or any writers or any owners thought that that was a good fucking. I need idea. to show you the final deletion and all the shit that he did. Yeah, delete, like, delete. What he's the past, but we're gonna talk about delete, which well, is the t- future. Well, the TNA stuff was like they threw. Uh, I think it was like Hurricane Helms into a volcano. And it erupted, and he was like, CG flew up in the air, and oh. eventually came down at the end of one, two, three. So wrestlers are, you That's know, coming terrible. out of a volcano. I Wait, that. Shit they really CGI. Yes, it looks yeah. terrible. That's what wrestling is now. <laughs> That's what shit. TNA they is think- now. Yeah. It, I just want to hear that glass shatter and see fucking Steve yeah. Austin come walking Yeah, from the WWF the Attitude Era. <laughs> You know what else? Shit. See, now you've got me fucking going. <laughs> <Yeah. Happy> now. <laughs> See, what you got now is just name Namersons. <laughs> that drives me fucking nuts, too. Who's this guy's name? Brett Michaels. Michaels Michaels. Aaron yes. Anderson. <laughs> what happened to the characters? What happened to this character of a wrestler? Mm-hmm. You know? Steve Austin. Yeah, it was a name Namerson, but it was fucking Steve Austin. What the hell are you going to do about it? Oh, Nothing. Because you don't want to do man. anything about it. Yeah, Macho Man, gimmicks, Hulkamania with Hulk Hogan and Mankind, Kane, Big Show, Andre the Giant, Ultimate Jimmy, Warrior. Superfly, Snooker. They had, like, this character that right. they were playing, and there was the heel and the face, and now they're just all, I'm Guy Gyerson, we're uh, trying to make the WWE the uh, uh, MMA, so we're all just going to have really cool, like, professional stage names, like in Hollywood, and I'm going to be, you know, Jeff Jefferson, and... Go out and like, punch people and shit. There you, go. you know, and that, that's that's wrestling. that's wrestling now. That's Pretty what much. it is now. The gold of wrestling is gone. It's been looted, probably by Blood Pack. <laughs> and he brings it back. It's in right. better hands now. Yeah, so they need to fix it. But fix it or he's getting a lawyer. Fix it or I'm getting Lance a lawyer. Lance walked in, took the gold, and said, "You can have this back it when you get happen. your shit out." Of yeah, your get ass. your Bro, shit we, together. We need a prop WWE belt for like if you ever get a chance to slam someone on the ground, you're gonna stand up and pull the belt. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. My name is Jacob Best Lerome Hodder. I am Brian Bryman Peacock. I'm Jeremy the Coach Brooks. And we just watched a clip from another podcast that apparently Brooks doesn't like too much: the Joe Rogan Experience. I never said I liked it. No, I know. I just said you didn't like it. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. He, he kind of 
I don't think he even poked fun at wrestling all that much. He said something we all knew. At, at, at the start, I didn't realize that he actually, like, you know, it made it sound like you were disrespecting wrestling. Right. But at the end, he knew all about it. He mm-hmm. likes it, so I was like, all right, whatever. Did he like it at the end? He said he loves it. He watches it and stuff. Did you catch that? Or did I, did I think I he just, I think he likes the idea of it. He did likes I, did it. I, did no, I I've watched. I've watched tons of his podcasts. He doesn't like wrestling. He doesn't. So I must. I, it was the other dude. I'm sorry. The other dude, yes. Yeah, the other yeah. dude. I, I thought Joe said it too. I'm sorry. Joe Rogan does not like pro wrestling. Well, I don't like Joe Rogan. <laughs> you don't like people that don't like wrestling? No, but he just a piss that fucker that made you eat horse penis with freaking, you know, nut soup with it. Fuck him. That's, uh... I mean, he did. That's something he did. He did do that. Know. He did that because he was a comedian and he needed money. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking pussy. That's what he is. Fuck you, Joe Rogan. Damn. I'm sorry. Fuck you. You gonna get a fight? Though. Hey man, welcome to Hulk Hogan. I give you forty five dollars. Man, fuck you. Welcome my nuts. And I fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. I don't see. To me, <clears throat> like he said a bunch of things that we all know. Wrestling is dumb. The That's freaking true. submission. The, it's the... dumb now. No, it's always been dumb. It's dumb now. It's always been dumb. It was entertaining okay. back then. This is something I've wanted to talk about for a long time. What do you think is the dumbest looking finisher of all time? Go ahead, Brian. Oh, finisher? Oh, God. God, I don't know. Yeah, that's hard to freaking... Let, let's do moves. The Uranagi. <laughs> yeah, you hate that. I bitch about that every time anyone even sets up for it. Why is that? It just looks dumb. It's like, I'm going to rock bottom. you just kidding. I'm too lazy. <laughs> or the um, <clears throat> side effect when Matt does Matt still do the side effect yeah yeah, that's just like a weird I'm gonna do a DDT just kidding do a minute breaker I got one no that's not Is the it? side effect the side effect he still oh. sets you up like the uh, RKO no I do hate I'm the RKO I'm supposed to fake what's the side effect the he gets oh, you oh no, like no, it's, it's, I know what it is he got you like he you get ready to close line but he lifts you up and, and your like legs going down and your legs going and the other legs going opposite way not that bad no, I, that I don't mind. I'm just saying the the urinagi. It's like a lazy version of that in the okay. rock bottom. I, I hate gotcha. when you got like 14 different versions of the RKO. Oh, no, I've got the worst, the worst finisher. Not the dumbest looking, just the worst is yeah. the spear. Only because of how much it's used now. Yeah. I, I think we've talked spear. about it. I love Roman Reigns spear. You just love Roman Reigns. You I don't bitch. love Roman Reigns. Yes, you do. He's huge. If Roman, wins. see, you just sound so freaking. He, he's part of the Empire. You know who has a who has a bad spear? <laughs> you got a Charlotte. shirt. She's not that big. It doesn't really look like she does anything. Fuck Charlotte. Too. Johnny Gargano also should not use the spear. His version of the spear is neat. When he like launches himself from the apron. If you can't create your own yeah. shit, you shouldn't be doing someone else. And you, who knows who started the spear? Goldberg. Like I Rhino. guarantee something before Goldberg. See, Goldberg and Rhino look like they'll kill you if they spear you. Same thing with Roman Reigns. Because they're football players. Roman Reigns was a football player, too. Yeah. Man. He played at Georgia Tech, and he played yeah. in the NFL for a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Rhino. I still Rhino? hate him, though. I still hate him. Rhino was a football player? No, Roman Reigns. No, oh, I think Rhino was, too. Though. Rhino played, but he didn't go pro. Like okay. Goldberg and Roman Reigns did. Oh, gotcha. I always forget Goldberg was a football player. Goldberg went, played at the University of Georgia, and... Play for the Falcons. Defense tackle. Hmm. Did I know that? If anyone's going to know. It's the coach. That's why he's on the show. Yep. <laughs> Fuck you, John and Coach Man. I'm the real fucking coach. You fall in and pussy. All right. Are you ready for my pick for the dumbest looking finisher of all time that wouldn't do shit? What's what? that? Hold him down, please. You better not say the right. stunner. Hold Stone Cold down. Stunner. Why? It's so stupid. How is that stupid? What does it do? Stun your ass? How? Yeah, you are stunned. You are, you you get hit. You're like, oh shit, I just got, I'm gone for like 15 <laughs> seconds. Then you That's wake it? up. You like, just realize that you've been hit? It's literally, it's like a no, chin buster. No, you know what? If you get, if you're the right person and you get hit with that stunner, you're flapping, you're flopping, I you're know. outside the ring. If I, you're the 100%, rock, I love if the you're, move. If you're you, Devon, you're having you, a seizure. You, that's the, that's the, if you get hit in the head with a chair. Dude, I had, every time I, I watched. It's Devon if he gets a belt on drop. <laughs> every time I watched old school stuff where Devon get hit with a chair, I only want to watch it. 
He fuck me like a damn fish out of water. Oh, it's, it's so, so hilarious. I remember watching him on ECW. He got hit and George I was like, oh my God. Yes. He's fucking dead. <laughs> but that's just okay. See, that's a super good point, though, that Joe Rogan, if he saw that, would say it's stupid. Because it is. No, it's not. That's why we love wrestling, because it's stupid. ECW was beautiful. It wasn't stupid. It, ECW was art. It was prestigious. It was fucking American at the time. Because you had Backstreet Boys, you had NSYNC, then all of a sudden, boom, Navarro came, and that's when ECW exploded. You know what the fuck I'm saying, son? Yes. Good. But wrestling is inherently silly. Because, at, yeah. look at it now, yeah, of course it's silly. It's for, it's for kids. The fact you that... You might as well have the fucking Trish Rabbit running the fucking ring. Just because two dudes put their different. arms on on both of your shoulders... <laughs> Adam Rose. <Yeah>. What? <laughs> Oh, you said something about an Easter Bunny or something. I was like, yeah, they did that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You said it's for kids. Tricks. Of, uh, go ahead, Jim. Just because dudes put their shoulders, one dude's got you in a power bomb, and the other two dudes put their hands on your shoulders, and he does the power bomb, makes it infinitely more powerful. Wrestling is silly, and I think that's all he was pointing out. Fuck him. Why? Cause I, cause I said so. <laughs> uh, I said so. I'm the fucking I, coach. Okay, I say why because I don't think he did anything I don't disrespectful. Like him. He think he's a badass. He's a pussy. He never. You keep saying he said he's a badass. He's never said that. Look at him. Look at how he is and shit. He a fucking pussy. Look Have him. you seen any of his other besides Fear Factor? No. Dude, Joe Rogan podcast is fucking fantastic. Fuck Joe Rogan. <laughs> I mean, I guess you would. Who me? <laughs> Do I look the kind of person that will fuck someone that feeds you penis? <laughs> I mean. I don't know. So what, subject, what, what did Mark Henry supposedly say? Right, yeah, so yeah we didn't get to that part. The reason we bring this up is because Brooke's dad has a problem with Joe Rogan. Oh, God. Mom, don't listen to this. <laughs> so what Mark Henry said was Joe Rogan basically started with this caution to... What? With this caution... Yeah, it's not a good book. <clears throat> to overly sensitive fans that... Whenever you give a disclaimer, you're basically saying, okay, get ready, here comes the trouble. I like the biggest part of this whole thing is Joe Rogan is an announcer. You have to know your role. Our announcers wouldn't dare say anything about a talent. I think that the UFC may need to kind of tell him, look, man, you're bringing the heat on us. A lot of our fans are UFC fans. There's a lot of UFC fans that are wrestling fans, and you're disrespecting the fan base. That's the number one thing. Henry continued, getting this from SD Scoops, by the way. SEScoops.com. The second thing is he used the word ridiculous as regards to Jimmy Superfly Snooka Splash. Jimmy is not here with us no more, and I took that really too hard as being ultra disrespectful. Okay, I'll agree with him a little bit there. Huh. And Joe Rogan also may not know that. How the fuck you don't true. know he did? Everybody knew Jimmy Joe Snooka Rogan died. doesn't know who The Undertaker is. That was, that's <laughs> fucked up. Or Shawn Michaels. I guarantee, okay, and this is continuing with what Mark Henry said. I guarantee you there's a lot of wrestling fans that will look at him differently after seeing what he said and all the negativity that came from it. He is a comedian, and he might put it on, put on the fact that I'm a comedian and I was trying to be funny. Well, you're not a good comedian because it wasn't funny. End quote. I don't think it was overly funny, but God damn it, it Dad. wasn't not true. <laughs> Dad, you need to go back to fucking school. That sounded so fucking dumb. Yeah, that was hard to read. <laughs> that was very hard to read. And, um... Uh, yeah, but yeah, he didn't say anything we don't already know. I think wrestling fans, you definitely have to... And this is something that... Like, whatever I watch with my dad, I've tried to get him to watch. Like, I tried to get him to watch the Cruiserweight Classic, some of that from that. He just points out, like, why is that guy letting him do that? Why is that guy letting him do this? Okay, I've got to say, as much as I love these two, but I just watched um, Will Ospreay, I believe, Ricochet. And, and Ricochet. They Ricochet was in the ring, Will Ospreay got in the ring. Before they even took their entrance coats off, they did one of their stupid, crazy, ridiculously awesome spots. But it was, it, it was literally like watching a show. It was definitely a show. Was it yeah. awesome? Yeah. Was it a fight? 
It definitely didn't look like a fight. That's something that that guy that was on the Joe Rogan podcast, that's the point that I always make to anybody that's making fun of wrestling, is we talked about this at work before. Uh, somebody was talking how about stu- how stupid wrestling is. And mm-hmm. somebody else said, what's your favorite TV show? And I think she said Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. And they were like, well, oh, you know that that guy didn't... Clear. What's that? Go ahead and get me started with Game of Thrones. Well, he said, you know that guy didn't actually get his head cut off. Your show is stupid. It's the same, you can make the same point. Right. That is true. Yeah, but it's what I'm saying is... That is true. Yeah, I love watching Game of Thrones. I love watching R- Will Ospreay and Ricochet flip each other around. Why are you guys messing with Game of Thrones? We're just giving an example of a show. It sucks. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. It does not. You might as well just walk, go watch porn film and watch Game of Thrones. No. That's, mm. You know what? The show does not even touch on anything that the books touch on, okay? Oh, now we're getting into that. It's going to be one a of different that. podcast. Let me tell you something. I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't got to t- <laughs> Let me tell you something, tell me. It's a different podcast. I ain't got Save time. it for the podcast. We will do a Game of Thrones podcast. I'm trying to be good. Day. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying I'm to be clean. She's getting her books. Actually, you two will do a Game of Thrones podcast. What's she getting books for? What's she doing? Look at all my Game of Thrones books. No, but I don't care about that shit. Definitely the wrestling fans don't. This is... I don't really give a... Well, you're now. yelling at us about our language there, brother. Oh, God. Brian. <laughs> Somebody pray for Brian. He just got possessed by the Hogan. It's the Hogan. <laughs> He got hit by the you hook. better run. My what? You just got my hair is falling racist. out. <laughs> He's not racist. Who is that racist? You just a pervert. What? No, he's not. What? Why do you think he went to court for bubble humping Bubbles' wife? Pervert. First of all, you know what? I take that back. I take that yeah. back. That's just that's just wrong in the first place. How are you gonna let your friend have sex with your wife? A lot of people are into a lot of different things. That's just if weird. If you listen to the little... I'm sorry, what does this have to do with wrestling? Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's Macho Man. <laughs> Can't wait for me then. Anyway, but that's, that's just weird. But I don't know. I'm sorry to bring it up right now, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, the whole point of this whole conversation is wrestling is silly, but we still love it. Yeah, just like uh, I mentioned it on another show. I was listening to the radio show, morning show out of Orlando, and they had their comedian of the year on there, and he was saying how he was never a wrestling fan, but he went to a live show, and he saw Bobby Roode, and he was like, this guy is ridiculous, I love it. And then his, the entrance, the intro song for his segment was glorious, it's a show. It's a big theatrical I show. I won't give in. I won't give in to my Victoria. And as much as I hate Bobby Roode. That song is pretty cool. I do love his music. But live events are better than the freaking Monday and Tuesday nights. Live events are better than anything. Yeah. That's when the act, titles actually change in a live event. Yeah. But just, just for a moment, wipe your mind of everything you love about wrestling. You've never seen wrestling before. And somebody shows you the sharpshooter. It's a dumbass move, <laughs> but we all love it. If you know nothing about wrestling the way Joe Rogan clearly knows nothing, you're going to go, what's happening? Actually, I don't really like submission moves. What, in wrestling? Yeah. I, I love them. I hate them. The yes lock? The only one actually, awesome. I actually like is the Kurt Angle ankle lock. And that's a legit That's submission. pretty badass. Though. Yeah. Other but, than that... No, it's just... What about cattle mutilation? It's my favorite. That's like some McDonald's do every night. Yeah. Pretty much. Every also night, sounds like a metal second. band. <laughs> but yeah, it's stuff like... And even it's ironic that they were making fun of The Undertaker. Because The Undertaker is like the biggest MMA fan. They didn't even know who The Undertaker was. And yet Joe Rogan didn't. Which yeah. tells me that he knows nothing about wrestling. Yeah, if, if you don't know The Undertaker... So so feel bad for you, son. Imagine not knowing a zero zero about wrestling. You would look at it and go, "Wow, that's dumb." It depends. Yeah. It depends. I see what you're going with. I see where you're going with this, but it depends what era you watched. Like if no. some, if some, to me, it does. Wrestling's never changed. Are you serious? The wrestling itself, the moves have never changed. Yes, they have. Yes, we they only have, have more of them now. Bro, you go from when we used to watch it back in the day to powerful and mean to fast and not doing it no more. 
The people are still using the sharpshooters, suplexes, body slams, punches. Not everybody's using the sharp sharpshooter no more. You don't see a lot more people doing power bombs and shit no more. Everything is more fast and more athletic than what it was when we was watching. Absolutely, or it's better. It, what? We need to have a fully fleshed out argument about this. Yeah, that's this is gonna be another episode. It's gonna this be a full on. Coming up. It's gonna be a full on. <laughs> you keep bringing this sh- modern what versus. Are you thinking to yourself? Oh. We'll have a full on modern versus attitude era. I guess I'll be the moderator. Cause, You're kind of in the middle, aren't you? You know, I'm. I'm in the middle about everything. You know. You kind of are. That's kind yeah. of why you're here. <laughs> Also, because we record in your house. Yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> that that helps. I mean, it does help a lot. I just don't see how people <laughs> like this new crap, man. It'd be weird if you guys just came <laughs> over and recorded I mean, we're going to talk about why people like this new crap. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I guarantee a lot of people don't like it. They just watch it because they respect the sport of wrestling. Like I do. I don't like it. Like we just, we just watched the Elimination Chamber, and you got seven guys in the ring, two standing, and everybody was watching. They ain't never happened before. We'll get to that. So, the reason we're here, and we're like almost 20 minutes into the show and we haven't brought it up yet, is to talk about the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Yeah, we Which watched it. was good. Definitely not the worst pay-per-view ever. They could have did better, but I, I ain't had no problem with it. Uh, the Women's Chamber match was great. Once again, the women updated the man. It was pretty good, yeah. Yeah. To yeah. me, they, That's... they beat the man in the Royal Rumble, and they beat the man in the Elimination Chamber. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hey. I is it is it possible though they're doing this on purpose to make the women no. look better? No. No. I agree with Brian. No. Yeah, they're not gonna sandbag their main talent. I like they're completely sandbagging them because the the last match wasn't terrible. It sucked. I don't think it sucked. I think it sucked. Well, we'll think, get to that. I and think it could they could have did so much with that. The match. Royal Rumble didn't suck. It wasn't as good as it could have been. And that's the same thing with the Elimination Chamber. So I wonder if they're not completely sandbagging them. The Royal Rumble was embarrassing. But giving them a little extra weight. No, I don't. At the same time, they are inadvertently doing that because of how good the women are. I think the women are just have gotten exponentially better. You know what I'm thinking? They have more to prove. That, that there's like somebody college. else. In, I'm sorry, bro. There's somebody else in charge of the women. So that person that's in charge of the women's division. Is it Triple H maybe? Yeah, Triple H is definitely in charge of that. You think Vince going to give up the men? He's going to soon, I hope. And now, you can tell. Look what Triple H doing NXT. He's getting ready to take over soon, but I think him and Stephanie are in control of the women. And they freaking killing it. Yeah. Vince ain't ain't going to nothing to do with the women. I think there needs to be more. Women? Yeah, that's because it's always the same, like, four. Yeah. That's well, both shows, too. I agree, I agree with you on that. Yeah. Well, is, are the men are kind of that way, too. It's, it's, you got the same seven dudes. Yeah. Hasn't it always kind of been like that? For, for a while, yeah. Well, I, no, there's since, an entire since, roster. I will say... Since they had the brand split. Certainly one thing about the Attitude Era was we had a much better mid-card. Brian and Jess are having a conversation. I don't know what's going on. I was telling him about how I would totally wrestle. Uh, I can teach you. Okay. I think you already know how to wrestle. You know. Gross. Wow. What? They, this is obviously not a family-friendly podcast. I'm not talking about like that. Me and Mark wrestle all the time. I bet. No, I live. I'm not that kind of podcast. I need to teach you I'm how to hit. I'm not talking about anything sexual. Oh, I know how to hit. We you know, either. I didn't really teach you how to hit the yeah, right way so you don't hurt me anymore. And I got to find that number saved in my phone. Brian, are you asking for help? Please help. What was the number? 911? Comment Whatever. down below the number to the safety hotline. <laughs> safety hotline? You mean? I don't know what it is, and you should probably not. Yep. Shush. Yep. This one hell of a Anyway, <laughs> I will. I'm going to teach you how to hit so you don't hurt me work? anymore. No. I still have 10 minutes, but thank you for trying to get rid of me. <laughs> In our own wow. house. Yeah, for real. Just get the hell out. 
<laughs> Just so the listeners know, this is how I'm treated. Oh, whatever. In my own home. Whatever. You want to, like, clarify that you're not being domestically abused? No. I, okay. I, I, I agree with Brian on that. You hit what? me a couple times, too. Why yeah, do I yeah. ever hit you? Tuh, what? First of all, you scared the crap out of me while I was sleeping. Yeah. And that's abuse right there. <laughs> that was funny, though. I could have died. <laughs> <laughs> you you could have given him a heart attack. He thought the house was haunted. I'm about to run outside naked. I'm about to, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, you gone. <laughs> Wait, were you naked? No. <laughs> he no, would have been. Look here, he ran outside. Everybody listen. This is Coach Brooks here. Hey, we about, Wait, to, do a, we about to do a mini Brooksy talk right here. They ain't got just, nothing to do with wrestling. Hold on. Hold on, Jacob. Hold on. I got to get this no, out. Hold on. No, what? Did we just find out when Brooks gets scared and gets naked? <laughs> oh, God. Doesn't everybody? Look here. I'll spend it now with Brian's house. And uh, I'm sleep, sleeping on the couch. I'm knocked out, right? Jess. Yeah, because we had just done a LARP event. Like, yeah, all, all day. day. So Jess got a camera set up in the living room. Well, tell them what it's for. Security camera. It's yeah. a security no, that's camera. okay. It's, it's better a, if we no, don't tell it. It's tell a baby people monitor. It's, for. it's a baby monitor. Whatever. I, I left it on in the living room. Right, and she can watch from my phone wherever she at, which is good. It's a great idea. If you got kids and stuff, I, I'm about to get one too. But uh, <clears throat> I'm sleeping on the couch, right? I'm knocked out. All of a sudden, I hear something say, wake up. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Clarifying, so, I can talk through the baby monitor. And watch at the same yeah, time. Which so is, I just went to peek in to see what was going on. I saw Jeremy sleeping. Me and my friend, <laughs> we were like, oh, let's mess with him. <laughs> yeah. So we were cracking up because he like, I said, woo, at first. And he like woke up a little bit, looked around, and oh, went back remember to that. sleep. Yeah, and then I was like, I said, boo! And he woke up, and like, he looked so scared for a second, went back to sleep. Then a couple minutes later, I was like, wake up! And he like, shot up, looked around, like his eyes were so huge, it was the best. I wish I recorded it, it was funny. I wish you shut up. <laughs> you should have recorded it, we could have put it on the channel. No. I know. We could have put it on. That would have been so I'm good. I'm never spinning out again, just for that. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Aren't you going with him in the morning? No. I mean... Uh. We can hook up the action camera. It's tiny enough, and everyone can record for like fifteen hours. Why the fuck y'all don't record me getting like almost having a heart attack? We you know we recorded. Many, um, y'all want me to die? You know how many views we could get? A, a black man down on camera? Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably a lot because it's probably never mind. See, hey, so, we gotta get back on top. So I re- we recorded uh, Lance waking. We woke Lance up with the John Cena thing one day. Oh, oh god! You don't Where remember that? that? It's somewhere. It was a it was a while ago. Holy shit, that needs to be found. That was the one LARP camp out where uh, no one else camped out. Remember that one? No. No, I didn't the, stay the night. Yeah, I know. Okay, but, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but then like no one was staying, so we all came back. Or I know Lance came back to my house, and he was <laughs> uh, he slept over. Okay. And I think you came over early the next day. And we did the the John Cena. Was I there for that? Yeah, because I think you recorded it. <laughs> Shit. It's on like my computer, or it's somewhere. Okay. We'll see if we can find it. That was like a long time ago. It was a very long time ago. Damn. Damn. Four years ago. That's crazy. Five years. Ago? No, because I started my job almost four years ago. I'm coming up on my four-year anniversary, so five or maybe six. Oh, that is awesome for the podcast. Thanks, Can we make any more noise? <laughs> oh, so is a damn cat. Oh, and that's cat. <laughs> I'm going to go get my maracas, and we're just going to... Now she's just slamming drawers on purpose. It's like, oh, you guys are recording a podcast. All right, that's... Uh... That's on purpose. Aren't you late for work? It's worth it for her to ruin Would our you? audio. For the morning, O'Reilly. So all that made all that noise. Oh. For you getting two packets of oatmeal. I know your boss. <laughs> I was gonna give her I cereal. I want a pool with her. Do you? Yeah. Your point. I know your husband. I want a pool with her too. She likes me. Are the cats talking crap? Yeah. We need to pause this. You need to sell that damn cat now. What? The damn cat like he smoked crap or something. Is that on still? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Keep it running back and forth. Yeah. Cats on crack. All right. Let's get back on subject. I still think cats on crack would have been the best. 
ending to this show. But all right, yeah. So I guess we watched some wrestling, right? Yeah, some cracking. Is that what we did? We watched some wrestling, yeah. All right. Now all the distractions are gone. And I apologize for my attitude and my my sappiness from the beginning. I was a I was a sour puss. I apologize for that, everybody. About Joe Rogan. Yeah. You apologize yeah. to Joe Rogan. Fuck Joe Rogan. <laughs> Uh, we we talked about LARP. We're happy now. <laughs> yeah, we had a quick discussion about future LARP podcasts because some of the LARP podcasts we've done have been excellent. You should go listen to them in the Future Villains podcast. Should. It's awesome. It's fantastic. We talk about all kinds of stuff on that podcast. Gaming, LARP, uh, Universal Studios. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'll probably go to tomorrow. You suck. <laughs> I can't go. I know. Well, we'll sneak you in. We'll put you in a stroller. I don't think that'll work. I gotta shave. And I ain't shaving for any more studios. <laughs> All right. So we talked about a little bit about the women's. Uh, we started to talk about the women's elimination chamber podcast. Oh, we're still not podcast. We'll get, dude, the middle fucking matches were nothing. Yeah. I think they were just waste. Uh, like, I don't know what the word I'm trying to say. Filler. Yeah, because that that freaking. Uh, I want to say Matt Hardy. We'll get to that. It is Matt Hardy, ain't it? Nope, yeah. we're to it. The Women's Elimination Chamber match <laughs> was really good. Alexa Bliss stole the show, as always. Of I'm course, she was last. Glad. She had the most energy and stuff. Yeah. As though should be. She, I, the only thing, the only thing they fucked up with was it should have been Bliss and Bailey at the end. Just to give Bailey some more push. Because they need to do something with Bailey. Otherwise, she's just going to fizzle out. I think I don't think so. Here's here's my thing with these women, and I'm not gonna say it all on podcast because I want to get no backlash. But I think you've said enough. But but doing that is gonna make people wonder what you have to say, which can be worse than what you really have well, to then say. People have to go ahead and use their brain and do a little bit of research, like I did. Okay. If you look at all the girls, oh, excuse me, all the women in WWE. That had their stuff leaked. Okay. You see their downfall. P- Paige is up and coming. Paige is gone. Now, I thought she retired. She's gone, <laughs> dude. She, but she's still a big part of the WWE right now. She's running Absolution. That, first of all, they didn't get rid of that damn name. Oh, making noise. What was that? Earthquake? It was an earthquake. Yeah, it was earthquake. earthquake. Hey, I'm tugboat if you earthquake. What's up? What? I'm tugboat if you earthquake. All right, fine. Oh, right. Cabby Vader? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Look, first of all, Absolution, that's just a bad name for girls. It is. It sounds like a medicine. Beautiful woman, too. What's the, what's the girl, blonde-headed girl name? Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose. She can, I can lay her down the bed of roses any night. That girl, fine. What's the other one? Uh, Sonya Deville. She can judo chop my ass if she want to. Have you seen uh, Mandy Rose and Goldust mix match? Oh, I loved it when they tried to kiss and stuff. Rose. What? You didn't see that one no. when they had the Uso brother and, uh, and uh, Naomi? No. Uh, Uso and Naomi kissed each other in the corner. So uh, everybody wanted Manny Rose and Goat Dust to do it. So Manny Rose leaned over the rope. Goat Dust, you know how Goat Dust is. He started jumping around like a goofball, like he just won a star, a golden star in fourth grade for cleaning his desk out. And uh, he almost leaned in for the kiss, and Uso came and rolled him up. And Daniel Bryan was the referee. He counted two. Daniel Bryan got up, and he started doing his no, little no thing because I wanted to see him kiss. Yeah. I want, you know, I want to go, go, does get a nookie. That would have been an HR disaster. But their, their mixed tag team name is Rose Gold. They could name it better than that. Really? I love that name. No, Rose Gold. Nah. That's a color. That's a big thing right now. Yeah. I like, I like that mismatch. That's pretty cool. They're doing neat things with that. Team Little Big came out of that. But, let's get back to the pay-per-view. Fair enough. We got Spider Bliss. That was funny. Who? Spider Bliss. When she was running from Sasha Banks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Spider yeah. Bliss. Spider Bliss. Commentary has got a little bit of fun in when the coach did, but he can still shut up and fuck off. Coach, coach messed up a few times. Of course. He messed up when he was there before he left. He said uh, Nia Jack. Um, he said he... Is he the... Is, is Corey the Hill and he's... uh. Yes, 100%. Okay. Corey right, Graves good. is a heel. I'm, I'm listening to the coach, and it sounds like he's trying to do both. Maybe. This coachman was a heel. Yeah, I don't know. Cole is very middle of the road, which Cole I, is just he an needs idiot. to be. 
No, Michael Cole's the best. I love Michael Cole. He ain't the best. Don't ever say that. He is so never good. the best. He's the voice of the WWE. He's the voice of... Free- Shut up. He is. Right. Yeah, because nobody else is there. Who, who would be better? JR. Really? Oh, they don't want to do it anymore. No, I'm How just saying know? in general. He was the voice of the WWE in the Attitude Era. Someone yeah. else has got JR to JR would still be doing events in fire. JR doesn't want to travel. Well, not now because his wife died. The dude miserable. He's got a lot of reasons. The king. I put the king over freaking uh, little mouse boy any day of the week. King's, King's retired too. Doesn't want to travel. Uh, Michael Cole won the King's thing. first WrestleMania, so I don't like Michael Cole. Oh, that. Well, how could that could have gone better? They could, and it should never happen. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> In a conversation. That was awful, dude. Um, I remember watching them, you know, Michael Cole and. Uh, uh, JR at Elimination Chamber in Tampa. That sucked. But the Women's Elimination Chamber match because we're getting off yeah, topic. Yeah, no, sorry. And, um, I thought Mandy Rose <laughs> and Sonya Deville did a really good job. I think that they're future women's champions in my opinion. They're a long ways away but I agree. They're all a long ways away but I think Sonya Deville in particular I wasn't sure if she was ready but she's doing pretty good. She's been carried a lot by people. I, I'll say this. Them two are more ready than the three on SmackDown. Who are the three on SmackDown? Oh, watch out. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, who's yours? It's, um... Oh, my God. Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan. She don't even look right on SmackDown. Ruby Riot. She look right in that group. I'll give you that, too. She just... It, it just don't fit her. Who's the third one? She's to be on the battlefield. Sarah Logan, Ruby Riot. I don't even know the other one. Liv Morgan. Oh, I like Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan's really good. That's a weird group. Absolution's a weird group. They do girls with SmackDown don't need... look right, man. They just need to not be in a group anymore. Both the teams. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't it's get it. It's the same thing that we had with the welcoming committee yeah, yeah, versus exactly. Team Bad. You don't have Why to. Why do the women have to group up? You don't have to. God dang it. Uh, I'm not. Sorry. I didn't hear what you said. I'm not gonna ask. I didn't what hear you what said. he said either. I'm not to hear him later. I don't even know what happened. I don't need to know what he said. The problem with them grouping them up, and I think this is why they do it, is they can be like, "Here's our women." Okay, okay, now they're done. Instead of yeah, let's break the women out into a bunch of singles matches. Let's just give them a match and get them done with, which sucks. Because I think that's pretty much how it goes. We have a group of women wrestle, and then we have a singles match, and that's it. Maybe a women's championship match. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And that's how it always is. That that, that sucks. Mm-hmm. We could replace a lot of the men's matches with women's matches, yeah. and I would be perfectly happy. Yeah. I'm not... No comment. No, I'm not saying we need, like, 50-50, but... No, but sometimes it should be 70-30. Sometimes it should be the other way around. It just depends on the storyline. It just... Yeah. It just depends on the day and what needs to be done. There's no reason why the women couldn't be on a majority of the show. As long as you have the women to fill the roles, we don't right now. Yeah. There's not Um, enough of them, which we've talked about. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. What's that? That There's not enough? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what was the second match? We talked about how far are we in the show? Uh, Far enough. And we Uh, we haven't even got past. The second match was... The bar versus a tag uh, team. Apollo and, and uh That was nap time. Uh, I did laundry. That nap was okay. I actually I watched it and they could have did more with Apollo and uh Terry Cruz. No, it's not Terry Cruz, what's his name? Freaking <laughs> Titus O'Neill. Titus O'Neill. Why is it Terry you Cruz? You were kidding me. You were <laughs> serious. He liked Terry Cruz a little bit. I, was, I wish Terry Cruz, Cruz would wrestle. Oh my god. But they could have did a little bit more with them too, but it wasn't that bad. This Titus O'Neil suck. I can't figure it out. Apollo. He is a Florida not. Gator, so I'm about to get yeah. He's just not he's entertaining. Smoking. He's They're uh, trying with this Titus Worldwide thing. It, after him and Darren Young broke up, there was nothing for him no more. Darren Young was the heart and soul of that tag team. Darren Young, you know, is good. I like, I like what they did. The money, when it, what, what was it? Oh, millions of dollars, millions of dollars. That was, that was cool and stuff like that. You know, it just, they had a tag team 
gold right yeah. there. Darren's gone, right? Yeah, he gone. What's he doing now? He he must be on the independent circuit. He know he married his boyfriend. Okay. And they doing something. I don't think he's wrestling him. I I, I don't want to say he ain't because I don't I don't really know. I don't want to put no yeah. false information out, but I know he left WWE for some reason. He just left because I think they let him go. His contract was up. I think they let him go. But. And they just weren't using him. It was but, so stupid. Uh, I don't know. Titus on there. Who, who knows? He does. I would say this. Titus on there do a lot for the kids, especially yes. in Tampa. And I'm not. Yeah, he I'm does not a saying... lot. Of, a lot of for the kids in Tampa. He's a great man outside the ring. He too. really is. He Even is a great guy. Even though he's a Florida Gator and I hate him, he's still a good <laughs> dude. But I just don't know what else they could do with him. A manager. He's, he's a great he's, talker. Yeah, but he been managing Apollo and it's boring. No, he's been Apollo. Yeah. He managed Paul before they got that one girl. He doesn't know if he's a manager or a wrestler. That's the problem. I don't even he's, think they know what he is. They don't. You know, he don't know. He definitely don't know. He's just going, I don't know. And yeah, now Dana's with them. I don't know what I need to do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's like, I don't know. I'm doing what I need to do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what he's He's kind of like an autopilot. He's probably going to be one at once. He's going to get that pink slip soon. Yeah, which is a shame. I don't know though. They, I, he creates a that lot bit. of good publicity for them. He's a smart man. He's not doing they, it. They, for the, they won't. They won't keep him. They'll take him out the ring, but keep him in the business. Yes. Because he's giving them business for all the stuff he's doing outside the ring. And I'm not saying that's the only reason he's doing it. So, was it Joey Styles or one of them fuckers that were saying that? Not Joey Styles. Uh, Josh Matthews, I think, was saying that the only reason WWE does the Connors Cure thing is for uh, publicity. Yeah, yeah. Hey, go fuck yourself. That's not the only reason they do it. You know why he said that, though? Because he was hanging with that Connor kid before Daniel Bryan was. Okay. And they didn't do nothing about it until Daniel Bryan did it. He's so, a bigger name. I was a little bit jealous in it, but I feel for him. You know, somebody else taking a spotlight from you, what you would... He was doing stuff without even the cameras around, helping that kid out. And sure. all of a sudden, Dan and Brian came in. and You know, that, that, I don't know. It's a business. Yeah. Who knows what happens in the, in the towers up in Connecticut. That's true. Uh, so that match was fine. I mean, we got, a, we got a bar entrance, which is like one of my favorite entrances. Yeah, I know. It was always fun to watch. I missed the power run. And then they cut to the commentators and it puts yeah. Brian off. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sheamus' music, I didn't like it at first. I love it now, man. It was a badass song. Mm-hmm. New Attitude. I, Cesaro need to go back to his old music, but we'll talk about it later. We've talked about that to death. Do we really? Yeah, we have. No, I'm just saying, he has to. Uh, the next match what was... What Matt Hardy? Yeah, Matt Hardy. It must have been Matt Hardy. Matt and Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Which started pretty entertaining. It was a match at a... The superstar and the should be superstar. Yeah. That and it was, was uh, that was outmatched by a beach ball. <laughs> yeah, beach I ball didn't mania. Notice that somehow. Yeah, Cesaro doesn't put up with that shit though. Hmm. Yeah, Cesaro don't fuck with the uh, with beach balls. Nope. They didn't even did the wave in that match. <laughs> That's how boring it was. It it was not a good match, and I can't <clears throat> figure out why. Cause Those you got, matches. You huh? got two good wrestlers in one ring, and then you give us that. They are. They're both great ma- That's the thing that's confusing. Like, how, why are those matches so bad? Like we said, no, we'll never know what happens between them doors in Stanford, Connecticut. But I got to imagine the match is mostly up to the two guys to decide, like. Yeah, some some points are. I mean. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt? Some people just don't. Might just not work well together. I think that's probably it. And that's or why you just... have someone like Bray Wyatt is probably saying, why am I wrestling this guy when I should be... Oh, oh, oh I'm wow. sorry, excuse me. Or I should be in the elimination chamber. Check out that spike. <laughs> Bray, you know what? Bray Wyatt instead of Elias. I don't know. Elias kind of deserves it. Bray Wyatt deserved more. And yeah. I ain't taking it nothing away from Elias. He, hey, he went from nothing to something. Elias kind of needed it more than Bray, though. I think Bray I is a superstar. That. Bray ain't a superstar no more. Bray ain't dominant like he was. But Bray Wyatt could easily just become a superstar quickly. Did we talk about 
The Bray Wyatt Walmart story? Yes. Okay. If tomorrow they decided that Bray Wyatt was the next contender, no one would bat an eyelash. They'd be like, all right, cool. If tomorrow somebody said Elias is the next contender without this Elimination Chamber match, they would have said no. This is, no, never mind. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to the Elimination Chamber match. But Elias. it's like, what, what you're saying, like, back then, people were like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Bray Wyatt deserved it. But it's not like, what's Bray Wyatt doing? He's not doing anything right now, but sometimes... So why, why, then some people are like, well, why he deserve it then if he ain't doing nothing? He ain't fighting what, what Elias is doing right now, so he don't deserve nothing. That's what some people probably would say. I think he does. The match that killed him was that stupid match with Randy Orton. That little house of horrors crap. Didn't he win the WWE Championship after that? No, he lost. Randy Orton won. Yeah, that's a shame. Randy Orton won that crap. But he ain't never... He, no, he ain't. I think that was before. I don't know. I'm getting my timeline mixed up. It's just sad that you got someone like that. Good mic skills, too. The best. Some of the best. And and he just... he can't, He's getting treated like Cesaro. But I feel like they're trying to get this Bray Wyatt Bad Hardy feud. It's like they're trying to force a square into a circle. It's just not working, so let's just stop. <laughs> square into a circle. I like that. It, yeah, but like maybe just let these guys let the feud cool off and revisit it eventually. When we get Jeff back, when we when Reby gets in, he he was wearing a House, House Hardy jacket. House Hardy versus Bray Wyatt and his congregation. Yeah. <clears throat> Build them both up. House Hardy versus the Wyatt family. That would be badass. I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all, too. And Brian probably going to punch me in the head for saying this. Yep. I'm going to say it anyway. I'm getting sick of this broken heart crap. Broken Matt stuff. Uh, I don't... I don't really care for it either way. I mean, I like to laugh at it. We're getting like 20% of it, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of it But already. do we want 100% of what yes, it is in TNA? we really do. The, no. the CG volcano... We, yes, because I want to see WWE will do with it. Nothing. They won't do it. That's... But if they do, I want to see what their version of it is. Oh, well, yeah, we, if they would. They're not. This is what we're going to get. What we're showing up. That's a shame. It's that, this is all we get from Woken Matt Hardy. That's a goddamn shame. I'm tired of it already. All right, but what's next? Asuka defeating Nia Jax. That was a pretty good match. That wasn't a bad match. That was a really good match. Like at one point, <laughs> that was a pretty good match. That wasn't a bad match. That was an amazing match. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I enjoy the David and Goliath type match. I wanted Nia Jackson win. I did too. Thank no, you. Me. There was a point though where I still think Nia is pretty boring. Nia did like a suplex. Uh, hey, who's the next one up, man? If she ain't it, I think she's boring. Who, who oh. should be Oscar? Sarah Logan. Obviously. No. She ain't yeah. even wraps enough matches to freaking compete with Oscar in the, in the main roster. Not Alexa Bliss should beat Oscar. Look at Brian like, <laughs> don't you go? You better leave me alone. <laughs> it should be Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss ain't going to beat her at WrestleMania. I 100% think, so. think she will. No, she won't. That's not going to happen. That would be such an upset. Oh, what? For sure. Because this wasn't going to happen. Oscar going to beat Alexa Bliss. Then they're going to stop this Raw versus SmackDown crap and do one brand. Then Alexa Bliss going to beat Charlotte. And, that's, and then Charlotte, she's going to take Charlotte belt if they still have two belts like that. I think Alexa Bliss beats Asuka and then Alexa Bliss beats Charlotte. Yeah. Absolutely. Alexa Bliss will lose at WrestleMania. Just like Brock Lesnar will. I think so. Do I don't know. Alexa Bliss belts. is going to UFC. Yep. No. <laughs> hey, she probably make more money in Ronda Ron Rousey. Oh, we'll get to that. The girl got the booty of a... Lexi Bliss is gorgeous. She's amazing. I don't know what that has to do with MMA, but all right. I'll watch it. (laughs) I don't watch MMA, but I'll watch it if she go on there. We're getting off topic again. (laughs) Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. I'm going to get tired. You guys are running out of studio time. (laughs) Oh, boy. Uh, At one point, Nia Jax hit her with, like, a power slam. But she kind of, like, bent Asuka, like, right in the middle. Like, she laid her hip... (laughs) <laughs> Alexa's side went into Asuka's belly as they landed, and it looked like it killed Asuka. Good. Holy shit. Yeah, that's the thing. One thing I really pissed me off, though, this is the commentators messing up. 
uh, Oscar was on the ground. Nia ran, went up against the ropes, and they thought they called the leg drop. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and she did an elbow drop, which I guess I wouldn't have really thought of. Like, oh yeah, she could have finished her right there, but the commentators pointed it out. Mm-hmm. That's you know breaking the whole disbelief thing. They had to point it out. I probably wouldn't have thought of it, and it probably happened with a lot of people. Why would they? That was like. Two moves in. Why would she do a leg drop then? Hey. This isn't Ring of Honor. They should. They're probably <laughs> thinking what Brock Lesnar did to Randy Orton. I would like to see that. Get a woman busted open. That pretty pink blood. It might happen eventually. It'll probably happen with Oscar. Kind of weird, Brooks, but okay. Sorry. I'm getting tired. That's why I'm getting weird. <laughs> so, I think the, the... Do we want to talk about Ronda now or do we want to talk about the... Uh, Chamber. I think I said we should skip the chamber. Just talk about Ronda. Okay, chamber the chamber match, match was okay. Sucked. A lot. This is my big thing about it. Elias should have eliminated somebody. Let him eliminate the fucking Miz. Let he, him eliminate nah, somebody. He should be grateful he in a fucking pot. He should be. Yeah. But if you're gonna put him in there, let him eliminate somebody. No. No. Really? Finn Balor didn't yeah. even eliminate nobody. What the hell he should Finn Balor should have eliminated John Cena. You can only eliminate so many John people. Hmm? Braun Strowman. Yeah, Braun Strowman eliminated five people. Hold on, I have it right here. He eliminated the whole fucking people. He, he did everything. Yeah, there's Just only to lose. There's only a select few people that can be eliminated until you're out of people. John Cena. Order of elimination by Balor? This does not make any sense. Braun Strowman eliminated. The Miz was first. John Cena was second. Finn Balor was third. Then uh, Seth Rollins. No, then John Cena. I already said John Cena. Okay, order of entry was The Miz. or And... Wow, this is real fucked up. Way to go, CBS. Does that make any sense to you? You can't rely on CBS to give me um, that. No. <laughs> it's order of entry on the left side, order of elimination on the right side. So did the Miz get eliminated first? Yeah. So that's Strowman. And then Elias got eliminated by Strowman. Cena got eliminated by Strowman. Oh, yes. Balor got eliminated by Strowman. Rollins got eliminated by Strowman. Strowman got eliminated by Reigns. I forgot about Elias. He was second. Then Cena was third, yeah. Okay, so that's how that works. Yeah. But it's Strowman Linder and everybody but wow. uh, Roman Reigns. And he, he still lost. Man, you know. Just like the big show, be living there, everybody roll Rumble, he still lose. Back then. That would have been. Okay, so we've talked this on the show, the show before. That Royal Rumble where Roman came out at 30 and won would have been better if Roman came out at number one and won it. If he just beat everybody, because that's how it was billed that year. It was him versus everybody. This was Strowman versus everybody. He should have just eliminated everybody, including Roman. No, you already like I told y'all before. Y'all already know. They already know who they wanted for WrestleMania, and they made. No, right. yeah, that's pretty clear. You know, so. But if you're gonna do it, fucking do it right. If you're gonna do it, do it. That's all I always say. This is your new era. <laughs> oh, I have problems with it. Fucker. <laughs> so, Braun should have just won the whole thing, though. If it would have been a war of elimination with, like, Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman, winner Braun Strowman. They did it. <laughs> so we could fucking just, cool. Just throw our laptops and punch our fucking TV screens. Yeah, instead we got Roman again, which I, I don't know. Who would put on a better match against Brock, Roman or, Bra- or Braun? Braun. Yeah, Strowman, obviously. Big man against big man. Muscle yeah. against muscle. Here's hoping, though. Braun somehow figured that a way into it. That's not going to happen. No. That's not going to happen. Vince got what he want. He got his pretty, he got his, his little uh, chauffeur boys. Is this the last year, or maybe even next year, the last year for Vince running WrestleMania? Oh, so. No. No? No. He's, he's got gonna, the XFL now. He, he's going to be running this stuff until 2054. I guarantee yeah, he'll be like 175 years old, benching 300 pounds. Are, are we just, just gonna have... refusing to fucking die? Yeah, they're gonna come out with like an immortal P 
pill or something. And Vince will be the first one on it. Him and he's Trump. already have one. Him right. and Elon Musk. Ah, yeah. <laughs> they shared one. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. <laughs> That should be the thumbnail. Vince McMahon, Elon Musk, and Dave Chappelle. Wrestling is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. There it is. That's the thumbnail and the title. All right, and you can find me on. <laughs> That's it, right? Um, well, actually, there's one thing to talk about. Oh, there's, uh, a, there's always one more thing. Hey, gotta be about this. Did you see Corey Graves and Booker T got into a fight backstage? No, they didn't. I know they didn't. The, no, uh, Corey Graves put a picture on Instagram of Booker kind of holding Graves up against the wall. Hey, Jake, that's funny. Uh, who gives a shit? I give a shit. That's funny. That's he just stupid. said it's funny. That's the who cares. It's work. And the caption was, work. Uh, it's on the internet. It must be true. Yeah, fair enough. Michael Cole, oh, hey, I see they got you and, and Booker T separated. Mm. Shut up, you freaking little <laughs> Mickey Mouse looking motherfucker. But uh, big news... This is probably breaking for both of you. John Cena has challenged The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Uh, uh, who's surprise, been saying that? Surprise, surprise. I think everybody's been saying that. But who's been but saying you, it you on this podcast? You have been saying that. Thank you. We gotta find something that surprises us. Nothing would. Like, I, I gotta say no. Nakamura versus AJ Styles surprised me. At WrestleMania. It's if, not, if it happens. If it happens. Even if it happens, it it's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. It won't. He's right. You know that. Shut up. Let me hope. Hey, Let me you think, hope. You Go think home. AJ Styles is going to put one finger up in the air, point it at Nakamura, and pull the trigger, and you think Nakamura is going to catch that bullet and eat it and spit it back at him? Fuck no, that's not going to happen. Go home. So I don't give a shit. Is that what happened in one of their matches? New Japan. Okay. Go home, drink your NyQuil, and have that fabulous dream about the dream match you want Because that's what two. I'm about to do. Because it's never going to happen in real life, Jakey. And with that, I, I might get Brian levels of upset if no, Randy I Orton get fucking upset if like Randy Orton weasels his match into that and makes it like a triple threat. Who well, they, would... they, well, they do got that fast lane match where it's like seven, like seven of them again. It's like the Elimination Chamber, but it's not. It's like a battle royal or something. Let's see if you go to WrestleMania. Championship scramble? I don't know what it is. I think it's a royal battle royal. It sounds like something you get at Denny's. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like that name. That's just, when I first you heard know, it, fuck it, I'm gonna go make myself dude, a championship. I didn't scramble. know it was a thing until I played the video game. I got hungry when I heard it. And then the I first played time. a championship scramble match, and I went, "This is dumb as fuck." When I oh, first heard that, like that's a thing. Like, yeah, you, you never heard of that. that? No. Yeah, I heard. Oh, I heard of it. You ready? You ready for the stupidest match of all time? I it's swear to God, an eight-man elimination match, but whoever gets the pin one, two, three, is champion. It's basically the hardcore championship. But for the WWE or whatever belt's on the line. So I don't know if, like, in the, in the record books, does it say, like, rain three minutes? Because <laughs> the next guy pinned him. That doesn't make does any sense. Does it come with hash browns and scramble eggs? Yes, it does. Well, I don't give a shit. Let's move on. <laughs> it's one of the dumbest concepts. We should have a podcast about dumb matches. Maybe. Is it dumb within the brawl for all? What was that? That boxing match they had with all the freaking wrestlers. Oh, way back in the day? Yeah. The when the guy got legit knocked out? By Butterbean? <laughs> who was that? Bro, uh, who was that? I don't remember. Uh, it'll come to me when I get home. My wrestling, wrestling history is rusty. Was it not? Didn't Billy Gunn have something to do with that? No, it wasn't. Somebody's was brother had something to do with that. It was Bart Gunn versus Butterball. Bart Gunn, thank you. Versus Butterball? Don't think that's his name. That was his name, Butterball. Butterbean. Butterball, butterbean, butterboom, butterbean. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. We'll move on to Ronda Rousey. Uh, fuck it. I'm gone. You Me know, too. I want to love this whole promo and everything. <sighs> fuck her. But she was... She wants a championship... And okay, title. let's start a contract. <laughs> title match. <laughs> oh my god, that was the best pause we've ever done. <laughs> Hey. I ain't never oh seen somebody grab the microphone and hesitate so much like she did. But why? She like have you ever watched like her talking shit to people or interviews she's done before? She's a, she's fine. She's, yeah, that's a different element. Yeah, yeah but no, now she's not actually talking shit to people. 
Now she has to follow her script. There ain't no script in the U.S. Damn. Yeah. There's damn. writers now. She has to say what the writers it? say. Damn. He nailed it. Yeah. She had a script and she went out there and went, Script. Um, Line. <laughs> you, you can't can look at her, You can look at her face. When they started chanting her name, that she actually felt a sigh of relief. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you. I don't have to talk. So she had to stop. So she had time to think about, oh, shit, what's next? Or she went out there and thought, oh, this is off. What's my line? I forgot my line. <laughs> She may have gone out there and got overwhelmed on how awesome it was. How mm. I don't know about sigh of relief, but maybe she just... I don't know. She's probably used, she's used to being... Well, Brooks pointed out earlier in the show, this is Vegas. That's why they're cheering for her. Yeah. That so helps. she used to that shit. Yeah. So. It, it's her house. Yeah. WWE is so fucking smart with these things. It's crazy. So exposing the dumbass out of people? Just, well, yeah. <laughs> she screwed up. She's still going she's to WrestleMania. Bad. The rest of the girls got to watch it. Yeah. That's what that's what I hate the most. I, Man, I hope her wrestling isn't as bad as her talking. She did put Triple H through a table. That was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that's a normal hip toss. Ain't about to do that. Yeah, it wasn't very... <laughs> it was still cool to see her. I agree. It was, through. but the thing that got me the most was Kurt Angle. Kurt was fucking That's great. why I was it, watching. If it wasn't for Kurt, Kurt, I wouldn't even give two that shits was, about that. Thank you, Brian. That's that's why I told you to pay attention to Kurt. And Stephanie. I yeah. no, fuck Stephanie. Stephanie uh, was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, Kurt Angle said, since Kurt Angle said, like I said his name wrong, he said it off. His acting was beautiful. But also, when he was like, you said the, so many years ago, we had this bear. Hey, hey. <laughs> that was fun. Triple H is fucking great. Like, they did, they, him and Triple H did a great job. Him and Triple H have incredible chemistry. Yeah. And they should have beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. Back in the good old days, Jacob. <laughs> yeah. we'll anyway. Talk, so, yeah, we'll talk about that another day, I promise. Nah. This segment was, like, other than her fucking up, like, pretty good. It sucked at the beginning, Stephanie, but it ended, it ended helped. Stephanie, Triple H, and Kurt were good. Kurt was awesome. Hopefully. You, if you watch Kurt Angle face doing the whole thing, yeah. you knew something was about to happen. Because he, hey, he was either back on that sauce. I don't, I don't know. It was just... Oh, it was well, he was supposed to look annoyed. Because he was annoyed with Triple H and Stephanie. Yeah. And he, it didn't look like he was annoyed. like he was drunk. It was that too. <laughs> but when he, like when Triple H escorted him out, who the fuck gave him a microphone again? It's Kurt Angle. He's a Olympic champion. He do whatever the fuck he want. Yeah. Well, a gold medal with a broken neck. God damn it. Hey, it's oh. true. It's damn true. I love Kurt Angle. I'm so glad he's back. You're not a Kurt Angle fan, right? Me? No, I, I actually don't like Kurt Angle. But he just enjoyed his little segment, though. Yeah. So, hey. I'm not saying he can't he do... T- he took a step into the Angle train, boys. No, I mean, I there's definitely I things he's done that I enjoy. Okay. I love But him. in general... Okay. I love him when he first made dislike. Step Foot. Yeah, I don't really dislike him, either. The one thing I love about Kurt Angle, and it's going to talk a little bit, but it's not a long story, mm-hmm. is before when Paul Heyman had ECW rolling, mm-hmm. and Raven was the headline of ECW, and him and C.V. Richards and the mm-hmm. Blue Meanie, they yeah. did the thing with the Sandman where they crucified Sandman. Right. Kurt Angle was about to join ECW, but yes. that happened, he hauled ass. Uh, I liked it that right there. I love the milk truck. That was yes. awesome. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get much better than that, especially for me. Kurt, he was funny. I said, look at all the pro- uh, skits he did. He is the dude funny. was funny. His Hall of Fame induction. Oh, God, dude. Where did Cowboy at? Yeah. yeah. Fucking, it was just him and Stone Cold and Deborah and Vince. That shit was hilarious. But anyway, you know, it just... Not to mention him and Shane McMahon to match King, King of the Ring. Or him yeah. and Steve Blackman. When he, Steve yes. Blackman hit him off the Titan Tron. No oh, shit, oh never mind. God. That was freaking uh, <laughs> Shaman Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm sorry. Who does Steve Blackman knock off? Shaman Man. It was off the Titan Tron. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Well, that, that show had the best opening pyro ever. But never mind. I'm going off subject again. It's that hot damn pyro. Pyro made the WWE. Yep. A lot of ways it did. Have you seen the top ten celebrities in WWE? There's a lot of stuff I've never seen before. The guy from Psych. You ever watch Psych? Who the fuck is Psych? Oh, that show that was on USA? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, He was, them two was on there. Yeah, and there was like... Yeah, there was a... He accidentally <laughs> set the pyro off or something during a promo. That That's was funny. fucking great. Do you realize, like, like, after the Royal Rumble, they always point to the WrestleMania sign and it blows up? 
Yeah. And it was awkward. It didn't blow up. Yeah, it was like Ronda was like. Yeah, she. Can, I, I felt like she was doing what Randy Orton did like, way back in the day. He pointed, but he didn't stand on the second rope to send the pyro. A lot of people don't know about that. Huh. And I'm, I'm saying like, oh shit, they actually gonna do pyro. She, she looking like she wanna jump over and punch in the face. It was, it was stupid, man. It's it's just, funny. Vince, I know you ain't listening because you, you know, probably got other shit you doing, fucking up people's lives with the wrestler. Bring back the pyro. I need to hear some shit blow up. Did they do it just for like money reasons? Yeah, they said it cost too much. But yet... Bullshit. They say They said... It's like... Look at all the pay-per-views. It's the same freaking stage as Raw and SmackDown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't want to... And the, the sets back in the day... It's like... They're like... They just bought that shit at a thrift store. Like, you know screen and the fucking of? thing. Backlash. That shit was new with the hooks. With the hooks. <laughs> That's the one I always... <laughs> and how about. is that... That's cheaper than the freaking all the LED boards they use. Yes, Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you can get LEDs. I mean, we still get stuff TLC cheap. with the... Yeah, but you still got the <laughs> same background. Yeah. You know, I, I see this... Well, at least for the pay-per-views, have, they mix it up a little bit. The only thing that changes is WrestleMania. I missed the fist, fist. yeah. <laughs> that fist was awesome. That fist was awesome, man. It, it, but they, they cut the pyro because they say it cut in cost. Like, they, they cut a lot of people's jobs. Yeah, but the shirts say, are still gotta... 30 fucking dollars. Yeah. They cut a lot of rain crew. They cut a lot of people with trucks to save money. Yeah. That's why we got the same sets. You go to the live shows, you don't really have a stage anymore. You just got a freaking a box with a curtain on it. I saw that. That's weird. And then the live shows used to have stages. Like, the one I used to go to up in Tallahassee. And I'm, excuse me, they had the big show on it, take a Ric Flair, China, everybody was at that. It was awesome. They had a pretty nice looking stage. I wish we could get that little uh, live show event thing at NXT with the video and everything. That would make it. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. Seems like they could do it. But too small. But I'm fine with what it is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The building got to be a little bit more bigger to have a video board in it. I'm going to try, you know, I think I'm going to try to go to the Thursday. Ocala show. Man, you're going to be too damn tired for that shit, man. We get off at four. I'm tired as fuck. Yeah, but Ocala for me is right up here. That's not far. It's like... Why would it happen on Thursday? I don't know why they're doing it. They have it like every day. It just depends. We usually get lucky in the uh, Chris River or the Springs ones are on Saturday or Sunday. The Chris River ones on that one. Was it a Friday? I think it was a Friday or Saturday. I think it was a Friday. That was perfect. And then... um, Saturday or Sunday is in Orlando, mm-hmm. which I went to an Orlando one before. It was all right. I don't think there's any point in driving all the way to Orlando for an NXT show. Unless it's like a taping. Well, yes. Sorry. I meant like a small show. Yeah. You know what, boys? It's off top. I'm going I'm to invest in going to deliver more indie shows. Yeah. We yeah. need to try to. You know, we looking at to. some of these cards. You know what would help with that, though? Future. Nope. Patreon.com slash future yeah. villains. Send us to more indie shows. Get us better equipment. Uh, yeah. Help us build a set in Brian's garage. So we can have a video podcast. Help me get a larger house. We can get a larger garage. That's not <laughs> what this is about. Nope. No, this is about me getting a bigger house, guys. How about me getting a house, period? Or Brooks getting a house, period? Yeah, no. that. Just give me a car. No. No. <laughs> no. We're going to get me an even bigger house. We're going to at least get you a shed to put all your toys in. I need a three-car garage. That's what I need. You ain't going to find one in fucking Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I need Way to go huge. given where we are. <laughs> I need to know where the hell we at. There's a lot of fucking houses here. There is a lot of fucking houses. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I need a larger house so we can produce more content. <laughs> That's end goal. What are you doing? Oh, I know what that means. Okay. <laughs> Patreon.com slash future villains. But thank you for listening, guys. My name <laughs> is Jacob Best in the Realm Halter. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm, Facebook Best in the Realm Gaming, uh, Instagram Best in the Realm, YouTube, twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Uh, I'm uh, Brian, Brian Man Peacock. You can find me on Twitter at Brian Man 25 or Instagram Brian Man 1138. Find me at Jeremy Brooks forty two on Twitter, J Brooks forty two on Instagram, and if you find me on Facebook, I probably won't add you because I got too many fucking people on there. Stop mentioning Facebook. <laughs> Actually, I think I I think someone added me on Facebook through the for the podcast. 
Okay. I think. Oh, cool. Hey, if you want to find, find me on me, Facebook, find me. my name is Jeremy Brooks. If you hey, if you want to be one of my friends, say hey, I listen to the podcast, and I'll add you. I won't. I might. I don't know. Follow me on Twitter. I tweet. Hey. You can find all of this content on iTunes, on Google Playlist, on YouTube, everywhere. We are future villains. You can look at future heels. You can find all of this content, including our Twitter, our Facebook, not our Facebook, everything. You can find everything on futurevillains.com. F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Please check out that Patreon, patreon.com slash futurevillains. We're done. Fuck Joe Rogan. We on. We on. We gone.